Hey guys, it's Coordination 929 back to you with another video. So here you are looking at a 2007 KTM 65 SX. And this thing is in immaculate condition. Uh, I picked this bike up in Macon, Georgia a couple days ago. And I only paid $650. And if you guys are familiar with these KTMs, you normally cannot touch them in this kind of condition for less than $1,500. So how did I pick it up for $650? Well, stay tuned. I'll let you know how. Uh, it, it just was one hell of a deal. Um, and yes, with three minutes after unloading it out of my truck, I had it running. This thing absolutely rips. It is a beast. I never expected a 65 to have so much power. So we'll get to that later. This video is geared toward the subscriber giveaway drawing. So... With that being said, I do want to give a shout out to all those who participated. There was only a few of you, but hey, few is better than none. Thank you guys for participating and sharing my channel. Um, I could tell that you shared the channel because the amount of subscribers per day that I got uh, definitely increased. So again, thank you guys. That was the whole point of the subscriber giveaway is to help promote this channel on different platforms. So. With that being said, let's go ahead and see who participated. All right, so first one here, Skylar Simmons. Thank you, Skylar, for participating and sharing my channel. We have B. Breckner. Thank you, Breckner. Yeah, Brian J. One, two, three, four, five, eight. Thank you, Brian, buddy, for sharing my channel. You have Jason Watts. Jason Watts has been a fan of this channel since the beginning. He has continued to support me by promoting me and sharing my channel on several different platforms. So thank you, Jason Watts, for being a crazy fan of mine, uh, a crazy fan of the channel. So we also have Quadination 913. Now, Quadination 913, I know you guys are saying, well, that's pretty close to yours. It is. It's a buddy that does ride with us. Um, he asked if he could keep the same platform, Quadination, and just change up the three digits at the end. So he went with Quadination 913, and I told him that was fine. So with that being said, let's go ahead and mix these up. I'm going to turn the helmet away from me. This, You'll notice that this film is not cut. So as far as it being as true to... Uh, just as far as it being honest and a true drawing, that's how it's going to be. So let me scramble these up. All right. I got the lucky one in my hand. Let's see who it is. Jason Watts. Jason Watts. Want to give you a shout out, buddy. Thank you for um, participating and congratulations on winning the $50. Um, I will get in touch with you through uh, YouTube and to send that over to you. So with that being said, congratulations, buddy. Now back to um, the KTM 65. Guys, this thing is an absolute beast. So how did I come across this? Well, guys, look at Facebook um, listings. This was listed for only about three hours when I came across it. It was kind of a fluke thing. I wasn't looking for KTMs. It just happened to be, I, hey, let me look at Facebook for a second. And I came across this bike. The seller said, hey, I was, it, it never ran since the day I bought it. I was told it needed a new top end. So she, um, she didn't get around to rebuilding it. Her son had since hit a growth spurt. He was getting too big. He needs to move up to an 85 or 125. So she's like, you know what? I'm just going to dump it now and we'll buy him something bigger. Well, when I got it home and, it, and just to go over a few things, me being somewhat mechanic savvy, first thing I'm thinking is, well, does it have compression or is it locked up? So when I got to her house, I noticed that it had compression and it was not locking up. So I knew that it had to have been fuel or spark at that point. Um, so when I got it here to the house, I kick-started it several times while off to make sure that the bottom end wasn't going to jam up. And it didn't jam up, and I noticed it had good compression. So what did I do? 
I looked at the spark plug, make sure that it was intact and on the spark plug, uh, the spark plug cap. And it was. At that point, I looked at the fuel and I noticed there was no fuel in the fuel lines. So I turned the Petcot valve on and fuel dumped into the carburetor and bam, it fired up. I did drive it um, just up and down my driveway right then, or I, I rode it up and down my um, driveway. It, um, it seemed fine, but I noticed that it did seem a little boggy. So I parked it the next day. I got back on it, fired right up, but the uh, I left the choke on too long and I ended up fouling the plug. Now I knew something wasn't quite right with the way it was running. Um, and I kind of suspected that it might have been a plug that was starting to foul. So I ran up to the local discount store up the road, bought the OEM required spark plugs for this bike, put it in, I took the gas out, filled it up with fresh gas. I'm also, not only am I running 93 octane, but I'm only running the high performance two stroke oil from KTM. All right, um, that's just, this is a high performance bike. I don't want to go with some cheap two cycle oil that they sell at, you know, a convenience store. So I bought that oil, put it in and fired the bike up and no problems. This thing absolutely rips. It is a bad to the bone bike, has so much power for the more or less tiny engine that it is. Um, tons of power, tons of power. It's completely factory with the exception of that pro circuit. Um, and they even, KTM may even put um, pro circuit on these, I, I don't know. I do know that they come about as race ready as possible, but either way, um, it doesn't really appear as if it's been tampered with much. So I bought this bike with the gamble of it being uh, needing a rebuild, bought it for 650 bucks. I put a spark plug in it guys, new gas, and I could easily sell this thing for 1500. So is it a good buy? Hell yes, this is a good buy. Um, I did put my son on it yesterday and he's a bit timid on it. It's his first dirt bike ever. Um, so I didn't buy it for him. We have another dirt bike that's gonna be arriving today at the house for him. I bought him a four stroke um, Chinese brand just to start on. And if he likes dirt bikes from that point forward, then I'll spend more money on the name brands. But this is more so my flipper bike. I did put him on it just to see how he would like the two stroke and the power band is just too aggressive. He's cruising along and then as soon as the power band hits, it freaks him out a bit. So with that being said, I believe this is not gonna be a keeper for us. I believe it is gonna be a flipper. I'll make an easy grand on it. But guys, that's how simple some of these fixes are. If you go on Facebook and you see a bike that is, you know, it, it just, it's cheap, you know, uh, uh, you know, a low price, uh, low listing price, check it out. See if it's something that you can easily fix. Cause there are some people that either one, they just don't want to mess with it or two, they have no idea what could be wrong with it. Um, a couple other things this bike came with was two new levers for the brake and the clutch came with two new sprockets, came with two new tires. I got all this stuff for 650 bucks, guys. It's, it's absolutely insane. So anyways, that's it. That's the KTM. I am gonna get some cool riding videos with it and uh, we'll do a top speed run too, just so that way if you guys are in the market of looking at buying one for your children, you know what it does top in. The power band is very aggressive on it. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys that now it is very aggressive. It goes from kind of the, the low end just doesn't have a lot of grunt and then as soon as you hit that power band I'm telling you this thing wants to lift up off the ground so very and that's with me 160 pounds on it um, five seven that you know this thing wants to lift me right up and that's not me sitting on the very back either I'm about in the center of the seat and this thing wants to just like pick right up so very aggressive power band it may be the way it's tuned. I'll have to adjust the carburetor maybe to get a little more low end grunt, but this is a race ready bike guys. So if you are interested in buying this, hit me up, let me know. 
I am going to ride it a few times, um, see if my son will ride it again. I'm going to ride it a few times just to get some good videos so you guys know what to expect from a KTM 65. Um, the clutch on here is able to handle me at 160 pounds. Um, but again, I'm not going to be straight up dogging and abusing it. But I am going to take it out a few times, open it up, get a top speed run, and um, play around with it a little bit like that. So if you're interested, hit me up. Let me know if you want to buy it. It is in mint condition. The only wear and tear that I notice at all on it is the side frame here. It's got a little bit of the black paint chipping off. But if you know any bike that's painted on the frame there, after just a couple years, that paint starts to peel off anyhow. So once again, guys, thank you for participating in this um, subscriber giveaway. Again, big shout out to you guys who participated. Thank you so much. I'll have another subscriber giveaway at 1,000 subscribers uh, of course the prize will be bigger and better who knows maybe it'll be a dirt bike so <laughs> with that being said um, stay tuned i got the flat track videos that will be coming up soon and i'll have some of these ktm videos coming up so you don't want to miss that stuff if you guys are watching this and you're not a subscriber definitely subscribe so with that being said this is coordination 929 i'm out